we'll cover how to configure a custom fiscal year. Go to Setup and in the Quick Find type in Fiscal Year and you will land up on the Fiscal Year page. In this example, I've already configured a custom fiscal year. So be wary of the fact that when you are shifting to custom fiscal year, you cannot go back to the standard fiscal year and all forecast related data also gets deleted. Let's go through the example that I've set up. Now this particular custom fiscal year follows the 445 template. And I'll explain what that means. Here you can see that the fiscal year start date is from 1st February 2021 onwards, the fiscal year name defaults to the year of the ending month, in this case, it is January of 2022. That's why it is populated to 2022. And this will determine the name of the fiscal year with the prefix FY, so the naming convention is going to be FY 2022. Now week start date just looking at the help text, it is the first day of the week in the preview. So the fiscal year starts from Monday onwards. Now under advanced customization, you can further insert or delete or change the length of your fiscal period. And you can also change the naming convention. So let's go through these settings. Choose quarter name scheme. So there are two values that you can select numbered by year or custom quarter names numbered by year will default it to Q1, Q2, Q3. And if you choose to add more quarters, you can add it in addition to the default four quarters. If you select custom quarter names here, you can define your own naming convention. So in the pre-filled example, in the drop-down, spring, summer, fall and winter are there, but you can configure these drop-down values as well. Choose period name numbered by quarter year. So numbered by quarter means that every quarter the period name will reset. So P1, P2, P3 and quarter 2, P1, P2, P3, if I select numbered by year, it will be a running number until the end of the year P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So 12 periods in total. Let's select numbered by quarter. And here in the prefix for the quarter I'll select Q so the naming convention is going to be Q1. And here in the prefix, I'll select P, if you have if you want to add any values to this prefix, you can do so as well. Now number weeks by year because I want the weeks 52 weeks to be shown. So I will number it by year if I select quarters. So every quarter the weeks will get reset. So 13 weeks in quarter 1 and quarter 2, they get reset, 13 weeks in each quarter. So let's select your here. Furthermore, you can add any quarter that you want, or any period that you want, what you need to do is you need to select the relevant checkbox. So if I want to add a quarter I have selected the checkbox adjacent to one, and if I click on insert, what it will do is it will add or insert another quarter. And if I choose to delete it, just click on the checkbox adjacent to five and click on delete, and it can remove so you can customize the fiscal period as per your business need. Now in at the start I mentioned four, four, five template. So what that means is that each quarter has three periods two of four weeks each, and the third one of five weeks. So in this example, you can see quarter one has period one has four weeks period two also has four weeks, but period three has five weeks. So this is the four, four, five template. Similarly, if you select four or five for template, then period one and period three will have four weeks each and period two will have five weeks now going down. If you want to reset your fiscal year structure here, like I said, I have used 4, 4, 5 if I want to change it to 4 or 5, 4 or 5, 4, for I can do that or I can choose another template that is there. Be wary of the fact when you do this to an existing custom fiscal year. The forecast calculations will take place again and can take significant amount of time. So let's look at how this fiscal year is shown on a report. Now this is an opportunities report if I go to my filters and see my close date is filtered by current fiscal year. That is it is showing all the opportunities that lie in the current fiscal year. And you can see that the fiscal year starts from February 1, 2021, and the end date is January 30, 2022. Also, let's look at how the naming convention is shown that we had set up on the forecast page. So here you can see Q1 period 1 FY 2021. So every quarter has three periods. 
So there are total 12 periods in the custom fiscal year that we have set up. And you can see after quarter 1, then you have quarter 2, P1, FY 2021, and so on. Thank you for watching.